My name is uh, Matthew Hansen. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with uh, Ortho Arizona Mazona Orthopedic. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and in uh, shoulder replacement. I'm originally from a small town in rural northern Utah, and I uh, grew up there doing things like you know, working on the farm and building things, fixing cars, working on tractors, that sort of stuff. Um, and then I went to uh, a junior college for two years in Utah called Snow College where I played basketball. And then uh, eventually went to Cornell University in upstate New York, which is where I graduated with my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. I think there's probably a couple of levels of connection. One is I, I think we just have a, uh, a desire to fix things mm -hmm. and, um, and that way we're very similar to engineers who like to solve problems and make things work and make things better. Um, but also I think understanding the principles of engineering help us in building the constructs that, that help people in fixing bones and joints. I went to medical school at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, Utah and then went to residency at the Hospital for Special Surgery, which is in New York City. The Hospital for Special Surgery is an orthopedic specialty hospital that has um, been a leader in orthopedic surgery for over 100 years, and, and they are routinely at the top of the U.S. News & World Report uh, rank for orthopedic hospitals in the United States. Uh, it's a very um, intense training in orthopedic surgery where we get exposure to a broad uh, spectrum of orthopedics and uh, really are trained by world-class faculty. I like sports medicine um, because I can identify with the athletes. Uh, I, as you mentioned, I uh, did uh, play basketball and had a couple of injuries myself, so I've been through it. I, I feel like I can really commiserate with the, the patients who are injured while they're trying to play sports. But also the unique problems in sports medicine, uh, the injuries in particular, the ligament and uh, uh, soft tissue injuries around the joints, I, I find intriguing. So I would typically see two groups of patients, uh, those that are um, injured and have some sort of a sports medicine injury like a, a knee injury, a ligament, or an ACL, or a meniscus, or a rotator cuff, and they want to get back to their sport. Um, and I see, I see a lot of those patients. I also see patients with hip pain. Uh, this is typically the 20, 30, or 40 year old patient who's had pain in their groin related to activity. Um, and uh, I've developed some expertise in treating labrum tears and femoral acetabular impingement, which is kind of a new diagnosis. I also see patients who have uh, bad problems with their shoulders that historically haven't been able to be fixed by, for instance, rotator cuff repairs, but can now be addressed with a procedure called a reverse shoulder replacement. And I've done a lot with that, both um, in the clinic, in the operating room, and also in, in the lab with some research on reverse shoulder replacements. Really, I think there's three of those procedures that, that fit that category. One is the reverse shoulder replacement. Um, this is a, a, a specifically designed prosthesis that substitutes for the rotator cuff and it can help a patient who has an irreparable rotator cuff tear, a tear that just can't be fixed or a bad tear in concert with arthritis and it allows us to, um, to fix that shoulder with a replacement. The second one would be the hip arthroscopy, the hip labrum tears and the, the femoral acetabular impingement that I mentioned earlier. That's uh, a technology that's been around for a few decades but has really just started to mature in the last few years. And then the third one is the Tommy John, um, so-called Tommy John surgery, which is a reconstruction for high-level throwers of a ligament in the, in the inner aspect of the elbow that tears from, from throwing. And, and the reason uh, I like to do that is I, I was able to train with Dr. Job, who was the inventor of that surgery uh, during my fellowship. I trained with him in Los Angeles, and I enjoyed doing those surgeries as well. I think in most cases, patients are really in tune to their bodies and they kind of know when something's amiss that's, that's more severe than just a regular sprain. But in general, if you can't walk, if you can't straighten out a knee or lift your arm, if you've lost motion or you've lost strength, um, then those are, those are definitely reasons to come in sooner rather than later.